Hey there, fifth graders. Uh, welcome back. This is Mrs. Pickett with another flipped video for you. And we're going to talk some more about exponents today. And we are also going to focus on place value. So we're going to kind of see how we can use exponents to help us with place value. Hopefully place value is a, uh, is a vocabulary word that you remember um, from fourth grade, third grade. I, I know it's something that we use um, we've used throughout school to help us understand numbers and how um, we can work together with our numbers. So, so right now we're going to, let's focus on some vocabulary words just to refresh our brains. Um, the first word is value. And value is going to be how much the number is worth. So, for example, if I have the number 36, value is going to say, well, if I have a 3 in the number 36, what does that 3 really represent? And you would hopefully say that that 3 represents not 3 1s, but 3 10s. So we would say that we have 30. So the value of the 3 is actually 30. Another word that's going to be helpful for us is um, the different forms. Standard form is 1. And standard form is just numbers and digits. So 436 is written in standard form because it's written in digits. Expanded form is another way that we can write numbers. And expanded form is going to pull our number apart and will also help us when we talk about value. So if I have that number 436 again, writing it in expanded form is like stretching it out to make it specific to the places. And I'll give you an example of expanded form here in just a second. The last form that we're gonna talk about is written form. And written form is where basically you write the word excuse me, you write the numbers in words. So as you can see, 437 is written out in words, um, 437. Today we're going to focus all, most of our time on the standard and expanded form. So I have the number 1,440,000. So if I was going to um, talk about place value with this number, I would say that my one is in the millionth place, and I have two fours, one is in the hundred thousands and one is in the tens thousands place. Hopefully you guys can see there in my chart, I went ahead and wrote 1,440,000. So let's talk about how our two numbers, um, the, the two fours are related and what their values are gonna be. So as you can see, our number 1,440,000 is written in standard form right now. We just have our digits. Now let's think about how we're going to write that same number in expanded form. So when we look at just the one in the millions place, we're going to start there. It's just like saying one times one million. Because it's the one is sitting in the millions place. Plus, now let's look at our four. We have a four times 100,000. And then again, we have another four that sits in our 10,000s place. So that would be, again, just four groups of 10,000. I know that looks like a lot of zeros and a lot of numbers, so now... Think back to our video we did the other day and how can we simplify that so it's not as many numbers. Hopefully you said we can use exponents because exponents make this look a lot less tricky. So look at that one again in the millions place and count how many zeros we have. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be like saying instead of one times a million, we could say one times ten to the sixth power. And then we're gonna add that to our four 
times 100,000. So let's do the same thing again with the 4. We're going to say 4 times, how many zeros do we have in 100 thousands? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 to the 5th power, plus our final 4, which would be 4 times 10 to the 4th power. Now, at this point, we don't have to go any farther because we only have zeros in the rest of our numbers, so we don't really need to even write them down in expanded form. But remember, expanded forms when we're pulling that number apart, and in this situation, we're using exponents to help us understand it. Let's do one more example together, and then I'm going to have you do a couple on your own. So my number is going to be 3,246,000. 3,246,000. So I'm going to skip this step where I write out all those tons and tons of zeros. And I'm going to show you a pretty quick way to do this. So we remember start with our millions place. A three is sitting in our millions place. So we're going to say three times 10. And how many zeros are in a million? Well, if you count each place we would have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I was going to write a million to the power, 10 to the power, I would have a six up there. And then plus two. So again, we're gonna say two times 10 to the fifth, because after my hundred thousands, I have, would have five zeros. Hopefully you're noticing a pattern because each time I go from millions to hundred thousands to ten thousands, my power of ten is getting one digit smaller. So with my four here, I have two, oh, excuse me, four times ten to the fourth power plus my last digit is a six and that's in the thousands place. So it would be six times ten to the third. So this is a great way to show you how exponents and place value can really work together to help us simplify a math problem. All right, drum rolls please. Now it's your turn to show us what you know. I want you to go ahead and solve the following problem. All right, so here you have two problems. The first, 2,420,000. The second, 4,361,000. And we are going to write both of those numbers in expanded form. And we're going to make sure we're using the exponents. Make sure you're using exponents. Remember to pause the video, solve the problems, and then press play, and you're going to get those answers. Okay, so go ahead and check that work. Hopefully you uh, got them all right. Just a friendly reminder, if for some reason you're not understanding or getting this, we will practice this in class, and um, I'm happy to work with you if you're really confused. Um, thanks for watching this wonderful video, and your joke for today is... What musical instrument is found in a bathroom? See you soon. Bye.